the Cranbrook Bucks. It will be their captain, Donovan Frey, Julian Frey, and Caslow Ferner, who will start tonight for the Cranbrook Bucks back on defense. Looks like that's Bryce Sucro, and he's out there with Joseph Blackley. And just like that, we're underway here in a beautiful Friday night in Prince George. Good brand as well as that one bounces to the slot. There's Primorano. He shoots. Big save from McIntosh. It was a great chance there from the Spruce Kings. Luca Primorano was looking for his third goal of the season. Big hit there from Owen Goodbrand as that one is played into the offensive zone. There's Reeves. He throws it to the slot. All alone. Now move. What a save from Ryan Sanborn who gets a pat on it. Ferner tries to go that one. It's Frey, Donovan Frey, who has that one on a stick over the blue line. He'll shoot. That's into the legs of Ryan Sanborn, who will hold on for some for a whistle and some more pushing and shoving happening again here. So these two teams are interior conference uh, kind of rivals so far. Last season, the Cranbrook had the better season record, four and one against the Spruce Kings. Mentioned these two teams only meeting once so far during the hockey season. It was in the preseason back in trail the 2023 preseason showcase this is the first of uh, first time they've seen each other in the regular season so they'll have to retreat to neutralize Scott Cousins now as here comes Blackley again toe drag move to the slot even better defensive play there and now it's Alexi Cornway who was sitting at the other blue line he couldn't control the pass so a lot of open ice here mentioned it just 10 seconds left now in the four on four here comes Jack Silich with speed he toe drag shoots and scores Good job there from Jack Silich picking up his eighth goal of the season from Long Grove, Illinois, using the Spruce Kings defender as a screen, beating Ryan Sanborn on the blocker side. So I mentioned things can change quickly here with some four on four in the second period. So four seconds left of four on four. Lyndon McCow will look to jump back out on the bench here, or back onto the ice here, sorry, as well as Evan Brown. But for now, the Cranbrook Bucks lead the Prince George Spruce Kings 1-0 just one minute into the second period. Blackley's back to play it for Cranbrook, who uh, has some energy right now after scoring the game's first goal just a minute into the second period. There's Fletcher again. He'll shoot and score. Mention Cranbrook playing with some energy now gets two on the boards within the first three minutes of the second period. So the Spruce Kings find themselves in a hole early as it first it was Jack Silich, then it was Fletcher, Jacob Fletcher, who or Ferner apologies. That was Ferner who let that shot go. Um, Caslow Ferner scoring his third goal of the season to make it two nothing in favor of the Bucks here now. Chasing his value. Sherratt's got it now. Partial three on two. No, three on three. Sasaki, he shoots. That's deflected towards McIntosh, but goes wide. Value's the first stick on it. He's battling down low. There's Sherratt. He's cutting towards the net. Sherratt cutting, shooting, scoring! What a power move there from Skogan Sherratt. All 5'8", 160 pounds of him, cutting past the Cranbrook defenders, powering his way in front of McIntosh and burying it for his fourth goal of the season. And just like that, the Spruce Kings are within one. Bruce King's looking to capitalize on that goal as they slow things down. Down the ice, Kai Greaves has it on his backhand. He'll get it in the attack zone. Here's Sherratt. Breaking in, going Sherratt. He shoots. McIntosh makes a great save in the slot. No Spruce Kings there to take advantage of it. Brown working against Greaves in the corner. Skates towards the middle of the slot. Can't find anybody. Now goes to Murray. Murray, toe drag move around Sherratt in the slot. Shoots and scores.
Jordan Murray undresses Skogan Sherratt and goes bar down to make it 3-1 Cranbrook here with 12.05 left in the third period. Spruce Kings heavily out shooting the Cranbrook Bucks, but the scoreboard says otherwise. Spruce Kings trying to dig out of a two goal deficit now with 12 minutes left in period number three. Luca Primorano coming in off the bench. Trent Ballantyne throws it to Killian McGregor Bennett. Turning up ice now, McGregor Bennett trying to work it around a buck. That's turned over. There is Donovan Frey. He'll throw it into the back of the net. Cranbrook leads 4 1 with a minute 08 left in the third period. Skogan Sherratt turning up through neutral ice. Over the blue line now, Sherratt looking for his second goal of the game. He'll leave that one back to McNeil. That one's tipped on net by Sasaki. McIntosh gets his body in front of that one. Another good save there from the Cranbrook starting goalie. It's his 31st of the night. So you heard the call there from Ron Gallo, that empty net goal. Bayou working that one forward over the blue line now. He'll chip it in deep. He gets absolutely stood up at the ringette line from the applause of the Cranbrook bench. Bellinger now below the net as Cranbrook will clear it out as the final seconds expire here at Kopar Memorial Arena. The Prince George Spruce Kings will fall to 5, 3, and 11. And Cranbrook picks up two more important points on the Prince George Spruce Kings who will remain in the bottom of the interior conference basement. 4-1 the final score. Cranbrook Bucks beat the Prince George Spruce Kings.